Senator James Lankford of Oklahoma, he serves on the Senate Intelligence Committee. Senator Lankford, thanks so much for being here. Let me ask you right off the bat here, do you support granting immunity for General Flynn? I'm going to let the uh, chairman of the committee be able to make that decision as we walk through the process. Obviously, we want to be able to hear from General Flynn. We think he has something to be able to contribute to the conversation. The other witnesses that we've reached out to, all of them have voluntary, uh, voluntarily agreed to be able to meet with us. And uh, we do look forward to meeting with all of them, including General Flynn. N no one else has asked for immunity, have they? No, I'm not going to go into the details of how we actually operate, but I would just tell you everyone else has voluntarily cooperated. How about that? I'll take that for a, a, as a yes, even though you didn't exactly say it that way. General Flynn and President Trump both repeatedly suggested during the campaign that if someone is granted immunity, it suggests that they committed a crime. Do you agree with that characterization? No, that, that, that makes good politics in, it, in the conversation in a campaign time period. But you and I both know a lot of people address immunity issues for a lot of reasons, uh, not just past behavior, but what happens in the testimony. Uh, it's often that somebody is sitting down at the desk and as they're being interviewed, uh, there's a trip up. Uh, and so they're worried about perjury charges. So there, there, there's lots of issues that happen with that. Uh, I would say it'd be a pretty free conversation, obviously, if he has immunity. Uh, so we could ask about anything and address any issue. Uh, but we'll see where, where that goes in the days ahead and what the agreement is. So the president said this morning in a tweet, he called the investigation into Russia a probe that you were involved in. He called it a witch hunt. Are you on a witch hunt? No, we're not on a witch hunt. Obviously, we're, we're out to get the facts, and I would say it's, it's beneficial to the White House and to the American people to get as many of these facts out as fast as we can possibly get them out to make sure that we take the facts wherever the facts go to get a result, because at the end of this, we're going to put out a bipartisan report from the Senate Intelligence Committee through after we go through literally thousands of pages of documents and background of highly classified documents, a lot of different interviews. As we finish this investigation, we'll put out this bipartisan report. There will reporters like you and others that will say, did you ask? ask XYZ. We need to be able to answer yes uh, to be able to show we were thorough in the process and to get it out so we can settle this one way or the other. I listened to your hearing yesterday and it was fascinating. Some serious information in the serious discussion about Russia trying to get involved, trying to meddle in elections all over the world, including this election. It's a very serious matter. Does it help uh, focus the attention of the American people on it when the president of the United States calls this quest a witch hunt? No, I, I think everyone's going to realize for what it really is. We've got another election coming up two years from now. Uh, the president wants to make sure that Russia stays out of it four years from now as well. Uh, this is what Europe has dealt with for a very long time. We have not paid attention to it and said it's over there. For whatever reason, Russia decided to engage with us, and they decided years before this election that they were going to ramp up and try to engage in this. Uh, the way that they actually prepared for it and the things that they laid out in the process, it was clear they had planned to be involved in this election for a while. So the key thing for us is how do we fight that off next time uh, to make sure the American people have all the facts that they need for a future election that we're able to confront a Russia and to be able to make sure that they understand clearly what our cyber doctrine is. Right. And when they cross the line to be able to engage in our elections, it's over the line. So CNN has confirmed the two White House staffers helped House Intelligence Chair Devin Nunes get access to, quote, the troubling information, as he described it at the White House last week. So Chairman Nunes and the administration, they have not issued a denial of this. I know you don't want to comment on the House investigation. I'm not asking you to comment on the House at this point. I'm asking you to comment on how the White House has handled it, given how its staffers provided this information. Do you think they've handled it well? We, we asked the House weeks ago, or the White House, that is, weeks ago, to be able to give to us any documents that they had leading to any accusations that were in the public. We're gathering all documents of everything related to this. And if they have anything, we've asked them to turn that over. Now, they've been responsive to us, as you know, yesterday, sending a note out that the chairman and ranking member will be able to take a look at this information of both the House and the Senate committees. I would be pretty confident those documents that would then come to us uh, within days as well, and we'll add it to the ongoing investigation. But again, there are thousands of pages of documents we're going through. Uh, so we're glad to be able to have those added to the conversation, but it's a part of the whole. All right, Senator James Langford of Oklahoma, thanks so much for being with us. Have a great weekend. Thank you. President Trump.